may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope everybody out there is having a pleasant Monday. It's been kind of crazy, still at work. We'll be here for a while, I'm testing through the week. Shoulders done, it was pretty painful going to work today. I had to stop and get me some stuff to put on the arm. But it's just definitely keep me in your prayers. I know some people who got together. I know Kim headed it up there, Kim Fisher did too. Uh, help me be able to get a cortisone shot. By the way, I've called, and the closest I could come in was probably in sometime in April, the way my insurance works. So it's one, like I said, it's one thing after another, people. But you know what? I'll be fine. I've got God. Everything will work out. That's just the way it works. So I have total faith that, you know, this God will take care of it. I want to thank uh, Brother Gary there at uh, Random Acts of Kindness. Uh, for mentioning us on our channel him and his wife listen every day and we want to thank him now i've seen this came out earlier it says president uh biden says he expects israel to bow to the demands for a ceasefire within a week once again the biden administration doesn't care about everybody pouring over our borders but he sure cares about israel and what they're doing and ukraine and their borders you know, and here's Israel. It's kind of like the same thing he's doing with us here. Israel, he wants them to kind of just let the bad guys run rapid, like they're letting them run rapid here, and just letting them cross, cross, come across that border in massive numbers. And once again, I want to <clears throat> let you know that these are not women and children. These are mostly fighting age males. These are rejects from other countries. They're letting them out of jails, and they're sending them here. And our country's picking them up in handfuls. If they can't come across the border, they're flying them in. Not only are they flying them in, here we got homeless here in this country. Our government's paying for their phones, <clears throat> their hotel stay, everything. But they can't even help their own citizens. It's all votes, people. The corruption is so bad that literally, this is why you're seeing all this mess happen. That's why you see judgment coming upon the United States. That is why. Now, it says here, <clears throat> sorry, people, it's my allergies on top of everything else. Just in the New York Community Bank, uh, Bank Corp stock plunges nearly 30%. So there's, once again, God's showing us about the economy and how it's literally failing right before our eyes. And I said, you know, like I said, they, they keep printing money like it's no tomorrow and expect everything to just be fine. But it's not fine. So, you know, we just, we've just got to a point where there's really just no tomorrow with all this stuff. It's collapsing so fast that we can't even keep up with it. Let's see what else we have here. It says here, they've also brought up this, uh, the Red Sea underwater data cables have also, like I said, we talked about that last week of the Houthis attacking continued in a vital waterways. Now, they've also sunk some more ships this week, and nobody's doing anything. Once again, as I said, the world is falling into despair. This is the three, uh, the red, three red sea underwater cables providing internet and telecommunications from around the world has been cut, as we told you last week. And it remains, they said that it was Yemen, but I don't believe it was them. They don't have the technology to do it. They, I believe it was Russia as payback for what they was doing about sending troops into Ukraine. So I don't believe this is Houthis whatsoever. Houthis barely, <clears throat> with what they have, is just from what Iran gives them. So I don't believe this whatsoever. I believe Russia cut them. And that was due to what happened the other day with uh, France saying that they were going to send NATO troops. Now, it says, Ukraine lies within the sphere of Russia. Strategic interests have no future in any other capacity. This has come from Dmitry Medvedev, the, uh, that used to be the president of Russia. 
The deputy chair of Russian Security Council has stated the Russian people consider Ukraine to be part of the larger Russian civilization. The senior official said at the speech of youth conference in Sochi on Monday, Moscow considers it to be the country's soft underbelly, from which no threat of Russia should be allowed to be projected. Now, the territories on both banks of the Dnieper River are part of Russian strategic history borders, he said, using the preferred term that's what usually known as a sphere of influence in geopolitics. All attempts to change them by force to cut its living body are doomed. In other words, they're not giving up Ukraine, and NATO has not given up Ukraine. You know what that means. He noted a little book by uh, Leonard Kumba, the second president of Ukraine following the independence from the USSR, which declared Ukraine is not Russia. The concept must vanish forever. Ukraine is without a doubt Russia, Medvedev said. He blasted the current government of Kyiv as the main threat to its own people. Considering its anti-Russian policies, Ukraine has fallen into a stupid trap set set for it by the U.S. and its allies and has successfully turned the nation into a weapon against Russia, he said. The best fate they can expect from the West is to become slaves to the ailing uh, ailing European freak show, Medvedev said, referring to the leaders of the EU and UK who are described to be incompetent and subservient to Washington. The Ukrainians will play the role of the deaf-mute servant who has raped every day uh, in European kitchen by the Lord from overseas, the former president added, Russia is not interested in territorial conquest, Medvedev said. Whatever natural riches Ukraine has, Russia also has in abundance, he claimed. Let's see. The great treasure that will be not surrendered to anyone or to anything in the people, he said. The Ukrainians have become confused by Western propaganda. But at their core, they have same values in the way of life as Russians and need to be rescued, Medvedev said. So, there's your answer about that. Neither side is going to give. And when you have that, you've got issues. Now, see, there's many other things. I'm trying to go down the list of everything that's been happening. There's so much. Uh, Which we all know the United States has been dropping food into the Gaza Strip. And it's funny, they don't even try to help their own citizens. It just amazes me. See, now here's that British ship that literally sunk by the Houthis this morning or the other day, and it just finally, it's finally sunk. Uh, see. Another train derailment once again. Here we go with that again. Now, also, they're still talking about this, whatever happened in Texas with the green laser. We're still looking into that, but there's a lot of that going on with this green laser. It just seems to be everywhere right now. That's what was what happened in Hawaii, and now in Texas, they're saying that thing showed up again. So, like I said, we're still looking into that story. Let's see. I'm trying to go through all my things I had put on here. Now, also, we want to discuss what's going on with the Temple Mount also. It says, the heads of Israel security established finally a security plan for Sunday on the Temple Mount ahead of the Muslim month of Ramadan. Now, remember, God keeps screaming to me, which it was Kim Fisher in the dream screaming it at me, was Ramadan, 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 which begins on March the 10th. The month-long observes, uh, observance of Ramadan is characterized by political and religious tensions and with a heightened risk of terrorist attacks against Israel and Western targets. The threat level this year is particularly high because of the ongoing war. Uh, also, there is no excuse for anyone to refrain from the battle. If we were able to continue the battle, no matter how long it lasts, our message to the enemy and the leader of the herd, Netanyahu, is the issue of the next day in Gaza determined only by the Palestinian resistance. Hamas threatened. Hamas has made similar threats on its top leader, Ismail something, who is based in Qatar, recently urging Muslims to attack Israel on, and march towards the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Some Israeli officials, including National Security Minister Ben Greer, 
have been calling for the Temple Mount entry restrictions due to high level of threat and recent assignments against Israel. Now, here's the thing. With what's happening in Israel, even in their government, Jacob's trouble has already uh, really has started to manifest itself. Now, we know that the seven-year tribulation is Israel. That is their tribulation for them and the unbelievers. It's called Jacob's trouble. And right now, you're seeing that manifest. Even inside the government, it's split down the middle. Even the war cabinet is split down the middle. They're all fighting within each other. This is all part of prophecy of the last days, that Israel, this would be happening to Israel. Because, see, this is what the church don't teach, is that this is Jacob's trouble. This is not the church's trouble. We accepted Jesus. We don't have no reason to go through the tribulation. That's why there's a rapture. They don't teach you that. But, see, we accepted Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The Gentiles accepted it. But, see, the church don't rightfully divide, so everybody thinks that they're the Jews. And they're not. It's Jacob's trouble. It's not the church's trouble. We're different from the Jews. We were <clears throat> brought in and sown in to this after the Jews did not accept Jesus when he got on the cross. Okay? So when they didn't accept him and they put him on the cross, you know, then this is going to come again where we have the seven-year tribulation and God will deal with the Jews. And they will accept him this time. They will accept Jesus as their Messiah. But that's what's coming. It's about the Jews and the non-believers that just absolutely refuse to the very end that Jesus is God. And that there is a God. You know, like I said, most people today don't even believe there is a God. They believe there are their own gods. So that's where we're at. But see, Jesus told us about these days and what would happen to Israel. So we can see these things. And Israel has literally... In the past couple of months, just falling on hard times. Yeah, they're winning against Hamas, but they're still surrounded by their enemies. And even they've got enemies in their own parties, inside their own government. You have this leftist try to take over there in Israel that's wanting to give up the land to the Palestinians. That's right. There is a faction there that wants them to just give up to these people. And we all know that God is never going to allow that. That's why this is called Jacob's trouble. That's why we see this starting to manifest. That's why the red heifers, all, everything is on time, people. I can look out right now and see how God has arranged this so perfectly. Everything is on time. The red heifers are coming up. This solar eclipse that comes over America is coming up. Them trying to divide the country in April is coming up. I mean, all this stuff is happening. That's why we tell you the rapture of the church is coming. Because we don't want to see nobody left behind in these last days. Now, people get mad because I sound like a broken record, but that's why I'm here. I'm here to let people know that the end is coming. That's my job. I work for God, not people. Now, I love God's children, and you're all God's children. Even the ones who come against me on this channel, I still love them because they're my brothers and sisters. But right now, we are in the last days, and we're seeing all this. Just like this insurgence of uh, illegal aliens coming into this country, and I'm talking maybe 15, 16 million. The, the estimate that they're giving is completely off. I guarantee there was 10 million the first year Biden got into office. They would just have had the floodgates open. And just letting them pour in, telling them, come on in, come on in. And ones that they didn't get across the border, they was flying them in. But see, that, that ship's already sailed. There's no stopping it now. There's already 15 million of them here. And they're here to cause destruction from within. It was like, well, you know, we don't have to worry about these other countries. They can't get here. They're already here. They don't need ships. They've already shipped them right across the border. Don't need ships to bring these these armies here. They're already here. How easy for them to get weapons here? It's not that hard, you know. And Kim Fisher years ago saw the uh, thing about violent marauders here when all the when the rapture was getting ready to happen. So we have that. So if these people are planning something from within, they've got the numbers now. To cause all kinds of trouble. You got to remember our infrastructure. While we are paying to rebuild Iraq, Afghanistan, 
and now Ukraine, while our infrastructure is falling apart, somebody sneezes and our power turns off. Somebody goes outside and looks the wrong way, the water is not going. Our infrastructure is shot here, all over the country. You know, it's funny, we send all this money to Ukraine, and we've got roads here that we have to have a roadside sticker to, you know, to be able to drive our cars. And the roads are so bad, you hit a pothole and your whole back end of your truck falls off. But you got to have a sticker to make sure your car's okay. But the, the road is horrible. Our roads are falling apart. But we can send tons of money across seas. Our country's printing money like a printing press and shipping it across seas. You're a tax money. That's where it's going. To fund and half of this money, they don't even know where it's going. I have no clue. They don't care. Because they're getting a percentage of it. People, the corruption and the evil that's running across this world right now, and it's not just here. It's everywhere. It's in every government, every politician. There is no good guys. Not anymore. Lucifer is running amok around this, around this country and around the world with this transgender thing, trying to get little kids. There was another story came out this morning. I saw it where another kid was taken from their parents because they didn't agree that their kid needed to be a boy or a girl. So they just took the child from the parents. You still think God's protecting America? Good luck with that. Because this X means judgment that's coming upon America. America is about to fall. The economy is in the, it's ready to collapse at any time. We've got banks and stocks, everything. Even China's selling off all their banks' uh, stocks that they've bought off of us. All of them are. Many countries are already dropping the dollar. It's crashing, and our government knows it is. They know. Oh, they absolutely know. And see that stuff today with Trump. It's all look over here. Look over here. Take your mind off what's coming, what's happening. See, everybody's so easily distracted, but they don't realize it's already over. The world has already come to an end. They just don't know it yet, but they're going to find out very soon because the rapture of the church is any time now. All these, but the number one thing is to look at Israel, how divided they are and how surrounded they are. This is Jacob's trouble coming. Israel is in worse shape now than they've ever been since they've become a nation. This is in days prophecy. The red heifers will be sacrificed probably by the end of this month. It's not coincidence. That is 2,000 years in the making, brothers and sisters, 2,000 years. You know, I know the world's hurting right now, but this is the greatest time in human history because we're getting ready to go home. Can I get an amen? And we are getting ready to go home. People might not believe in a rapture and they can keep screaming to the top of their lungs, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen because it will. When you've got four-year-old children seeing the rapture of the church that's never even knew about the rapture, yeah. It's coming. All the evidence is there. It's all there. And thank Jesus each and every day that you wake up that we're awake because there ain't many of us. Pray for our brothers and sisters to get on that boat before it's too late because let me tell you something. Every day I look at the Israel news, we're one day closer. Brothers and sisters, if I've said it many times. If I can teach you anything, watch Israel right now. Because that's Jacob's trouble. That is coming. It's already in process, in progress. It's already happening. And then the red heifers, and then somewhere here soon, the rapture of the church is going to happen, and God will deal with Israel. But we are leaving. So be ready. Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. You know, sometimes I can come across harsh, but you know, I do it because I don't want to see anybody left behind here. I love my brothers and sisters, even the ones that can't stand me. I don't want to see anybody left behind. We've seen too many things about what it's going to look like after the rapture, and I don't want anybody to have to go through that. 
That's why we do this. If you're out there and you don't know Jesus, call upon him today. He's reaching his hand out right now. All you got to do is call upon him and believe that he died for you. And he shed his blood on that cross for you. And he did. Don't matter what you've done. He died for you. Nobody else will. Nobody else would. But he did it so you could spend eternity with him. Give him that chance today. I promise you'll never forget it. But you're running out of time. The, hour, the hourglass is about empty. All of us watchers and watch women, we all know it. We all are on the same page. This is coming to an end soon. I love each and every one of you. Thank you once again for bringing me into your house and just, you know, me being part of your family. You all pray for me and I pray for you. God bless each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.